Hi everybody, this is uh, Silvio Canto in Dallas on Friday, September the 15th. Welcome to our, our video commentary. I'm sure all of you woke up this morning to the news that uh, North Korea had fired a missile over Japan. This is really getting scary because it looks to me more and more like war may be the only option here. Not that I support that. I, I'm hoping that we can exhaust every diplomatic option that we have. But when you see the, the situation, when you see the, the constant uh, th you know, threats and almost like in-your-face attitude of North Korea, it, it really scares you a little bit. Because if there is a war on the Korean Peninsula, particularly on the border with, with South Korea, I mean, the losses, the human losses are going to be historic. I mean, we could be talking about a quarter of a million people being killed. And that's not an exaggeration because there's 10 million people living in Seoul, South Korea, which is going to be the battleground uh, for many of these uh, of these battles. So it, it's, it's awful. It's awful. And I just wish there was some way that we could get the Chinese to intervene. Maybe there is. But so far, the Chinese have not really shown that either they care a heck of a lot or two, that they have a lot of control over over North Korea. Let's talk a little bit about sanctuary cities. I'm sure that uh, you've been following that debate, and I'm a big critic of sanctuary cities. I think sanctuary cities are an affront to the rule of law, and I, I think we have to call it what it is. You cannot live in a country where certain cities decide what law they're going to obey. It, it, it's chaotic. I mean, it's simply chaotic. And when you have a situation where, let's say, a city decides, well, we're not, we're not going to obey that, then pretty soon this is going to be called the chaotic states of America. Not the United States of America, but the chaotic states of America because it's ridiculous. You cannot have different cities uh, deciding, well, I like this one, I don't like that law. There's going to be consequences. What happens, for example, when a county in somewhere in the United States decides that they're not going to have any more abortions? In, in their county because the majority of the people in that county believe that abortion is a taking of human life. What happens when a county decides we're not going to issue same-sex marriage licenses anymore because we don't believe that same-sex marriage is, is a natural thing or consistent with our tradition of marriage between a man and a woman? I mean, I think you can see all of the potential problems of having cities all of a sudden decide what federal law they're going to obey. And this is my opposition to sanctuary cities. It's really about the rule of law. Now, many people, many supporters of sanctuary cities have turned this into a debate over immigration. It's not a debate about immigration. I mean, we can have a debate about immigration. That's fine. We're going to do that with DACA and other things. But that's not what this is about. This is about cities obeying federal laws. And if we're going to live in a country where cities decide what law they're going to respect, it's going to be chaotic. And I don't even think the supporters of sanctuary cities understand how chaotic it's going to be when cities all of a sudden decide what law they're going to respect. Have a great weekend, everybody, and we'll talk to you later. This is uh, Silvio Canto in Dallas saying thank you for watching these commentaries. We're starting to build them up. I mean, we're starting to build a little archive, and we've, we have them over at YouTube. Thank you. Have a good day, everybody. Have a good weekend, and we'll talk to you later.